Good morning, I'm certified meteorologist Brandon Orr. Another 90 degree day, although not as hot as yesterday. We reached 93 degrees yesterday. It's going to be a little bit lower than that just because we have some extra clouds and some extra showers and thunderstorms around. We had some around yesterday. We got more on the way today. Some of these could produce some heavy rainfall totals, so we could get some flooding in pockets, just like what we've been dealing with this past week. And some of this not holding off until just the afternoon. We even have some this morning that we're going to be dealing with hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. So there's breaks in there and then you see a few more coming in. There is some drier air on the way. It's still north of Florida at this point, but it's moving in our direction. So scattered thunderstorms today goes down to scattered mainly on the morning on Monday. And then I think as the day goes on, that drier air moves in by Monday evening. We're seeing the lower humidity arrive and by Tuesday, We'll still get a few showers in, but it's just those smaller showers off the water that are pretty isolated. So rain chances come way down. We even feel a break in the humidity. This is going to be nice feeling tropical today down to just sticky tomorrow. And then in that tolerable range Tuesday and Wednesday, not feeling too bad. I think you're going to like the way it feels considering we haven't had much of a humidity drop. I think we had one over the past month that was noticeable, but we definitely have one on the way starting Tuesday. So that 30% chance of rain will carry us into Saturday, we get rid of the big afternoon showers and thunderstorms and highs instead of being into the 90s trim down to the upper 80s. So slight improvements as we're getting closer to the fall season. Find updates anytime on local10.com. Take us with you with our free weather authority app. You can track the storms on there along with us today. Have a good Sunday.